Hey guys, Piggy Divine here with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys an amazing variation of an any card at any number that allows you to have a participant select a card and you could then have that card be found at a specific number. Oh man, I just love you guys so much. So here's the tutorial. So today we're going to be using bicycle cards. These are red, red bicycle cards. And we're going to have a participant select any card. Let's say they happen to select this one over here. Good, good card. Now this card gets lost in the middle of the deck. Of course, uh, we lose the card and we have another participant name any number that they want. Let's say they happen to name the number 10. We go great. Let's count down to 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 right there. The 10th card. You could have named any number. You could have picked any card, sir. But of course, we happen to go right to the card that you picked. Now there are a lot of different takes on using the reverse spread as a means of operation in card magic. For example, we have John Schneider and his brilliant reverse spread forces from his early works. We also have R. Paul Wilson and his other brilliant take on the any card or any number called Yamfakan, where he uses the reverse spread. This one is different because we're using an out jog to switch the card. Oh boy, I just love you so much. Let me show you how this works. So we're going to have a card selected and controlled to the top of the deck. You could use whatever way you want. Personally, I like using this particular pass. This is one that I learned from illusionist.com. It's a great one. Uh, I think you could get it on magic stream for approximately $14 if you happen to use a coupon code, uh, but it's a good one and it controls a card to the top. I feel like that was too much piggy and not enough divine. So you're going to control the card to the top of the deck using whatever method you happen to love. I happen to love you guys. So once the card is on top of the deck, you're going to singly count them out into your right hand, depending on which number the participant calls. So again, let's say they name 10 for the sake of explanation. You're going to count down to the 10th card. Now the 10th card, you're going to out jog, which is just a simple technique. We're going to push that card closer to them. That's it. That's all that's happening. Now here with the right hand, all that's going to happen is I'm going to push these cards to the left. As I push them to the left, you notice that this is going to push the participant's card forward and more prominently ready to be switched for this card. Now here, a number of actions are going to take place at the same time. First of all, you're going to use your forefinger to push this card in. Now this is taking place at the same time that I'm supposedly picking that card up with my right hand and turning it to a face up position. So the cover here is that the larger motion of me coming out of my right hand is going to cover the smaller motion of me pushing it in with my left hand. The next thing is that you notice that I'm tilting my hand a little bit upward. In tilting my hand a little bit upward, it's going to cover this action a lot better. So I'm going to come in with my right hand and turn over my right hand like this. At the same time, I'm pushing this card in. So with that card in jogged and this card over here ready to be switched, if we combine the action, it just looks like this. It looks like I've turned over that card face up and it happens to be the participant's selected card. Some tips that do help is putting the pinky here in the back so that when you press in using your forefinger, the pinky actually acts as a stopper and it makes sure that the deck is square. But other than that, I think it's a great move, especially if you tilt it up because it does look exactly like you're turning over that card and putting it right on top of the deck. So some different ways you could use this is you could have one participant select a card and then the other participant, maybe their partner selects the number and that way they come together. So again, the power of love prevails. Hey guys, it's Piggy Divine back from the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see the complete opposite of this particular content, may I suggest checking out my distant cousin, Pig Cake, and his channel. You should look at his stuff. Commentary, some reviews, some tutorials. It is a little bit crass though. He's not like me. But anyways, this technique is relatively easy. It just requires a little bit of practice to maintain the smoothness of that switch. And you have another answer to the any card or any number problem, especially if you have a memorized deck, you could just simply control the card to the top of the deck, do the move, and you have essentially what is any card at any number. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below as to your favorite method of any card at any number. And as always, happy practicing. I love you guys.